very welcome to the first prayer of the year 2023. And we are very happy to see every one of you at this prayer meeting. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year to, to you and your family. I, I pray that this year, all your heart desires, everything that you didn't get last year, the Lord will give to you in Jesus' name. We're starting this year on a good note. First prayer Friday that we have in the month of January 2023, and we're starting the year with the Lord. I want to believe that many of you went to church for the crossing over, and the year started with a Sunday, which is the day of the Lord. What a beautiful year to start. Um, what a beautiful way to start the new year. I'm so delighted. It was a good time in the presence of the Lord. When we start with the Lord, we know that the Lord is going to take us through. He's going to be by our side, our companion through the year. And all your prayers, all your requests this year will not go without coming forth with great result in Jesus' name. Whatever it is that you have been praying about, don't despair. Don't be discouraged because God has good news for you today as you pray and believe. Someone said that keep trusting and plan B, plan A is keep trusting. Plan B is trusting more. So you keep trusting. You have no other choice but to keep trusting, keep praying, keep believing. Let your plan A and your plan B be the same thing aligned to talking to God about it, presenting it to the Lord, doing what you have to do within your power and leaving it all in the hands of the Lord. This year we have our pastor, our prayer leader, our brother, right, me again here to lead us in this prayer session. I pray that the Lord will bless every one of you. If you missed December's prayer, you know that it was one prayer of its kind and many people went to it with their blessings. And this day is not going to be an exception. God is preparing great packages for you, preparing great packages for me. It's all about you being receptive and having the faith to put into, into practice. And the Lord will bless you mightily as you pray with all your heart, leaving it all at the feet of the Lord. Rayami, over to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we are glad that we are here again today and uh, we thank the Lord for his goodness, for his mercy, for his love that we are in 2023 once more. I pray that this year, 2023, the Lord God Almighty, who has been good to us in past years, he will do much more for us this year in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm very, very glad to see all of you. I think I'm glad with what Sister Princess is doing. You are giving me response and I can hear your voice. Normally I will tell you to mute. I don't think I want anybody to mute this time. Everybody should not mute. Everybody should talk so that I will know that my, my audience are alive and my audience are vibrant. It's 2023, it's a new year. This year will be year of pleasant surprises in Jesus' name. Amen. It will be year of miracles, signs and wonders in Jesus' name. Amen. And it will be the year that God Almighty we do great and mighty things that we do not know and that we're not expecting from him by his power in Jesus' name. Amen. So, uh, brothers and sisters, once again, Happy New Year to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy New Year to every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy New Year. Happy All right. So, uh, this year promises to be a year that great and mighty things will be happening as we have our programs our prayer programs is going to be full of surprises it's going it's going to be full of miracles it's going to be full of wonders so expect the best from god you understand expect the very best from the almighty god because no matter what no matter what this year you are going to have wonderful testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. About your family, about your friends, about your loved ones, about your work, about your career, about your ministry. But I have a ministration that there are some people that have never located their place in ministry. They have been roaming about the environment of the, their ministry, but they have never been able to locate specifically and practically their essence of ministry that this year one way 
or the other, that God will fix them up. They are just like Peter. Peter knew, knew that there is any, something about his life that has to do with fishing. So he became a fisher, he became a fisherman. But when Jesus had an encounter with him, he now put him in the place of real ministry. He said, from today, you will become a fisher of man, men. You understand? Before that time, he, there was a, a, a voice of his destiny was crying and telling him there was something about fishing in his life. So he became a fisherman like his, he became a fisherman like his father. But uh, that was not the best of God for him. His father was a fisherman, but his own creation was that he would be a fisher of men. And that time when he had an encounter with Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ placed him and fixed him up for his size of ministry. You understand? So there are people like that, that this year, by the power of the almighty God, they are going to be able to get the best of God in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Lord Almighty will do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare an everlasting love for you. Father, we declare, Father, we declare that we love you. We declare an everlasting love for you. I want you where you are this evening or morning or afternoon or night, midnight, as the case may be to you. Begin to worship the name of the Most High God. Begin to adore the name of the Lord who has spared you to see this day. The, 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 this is the seventh day in the month of January 2023. I want also praise the name of God Most High. Worship the name of God for his love, for his kindness, for his goodness, for his loving kindness, for his power. Tell him, Lord, I thank you. I'm among the living today. I bless your name. I'm here alive. I'm well, I'm wealthy. I'm strong, I'm strengthened. I'm healthy and I'm fine. Lord, I bless your name. I give glory unto your name. I give honor unto you. I give adoration to you. You are just so good to me. Oh Lord, you are so wonderful in my life. You are so marvelous to me. I say thank you, Jesus. Is someone praising the Lord there? Is someone appreciating the Most High Father? Is someone giving God the glory? Is someone giving God the honor? Is someone giving God the adoration? Is someone giving God the praises? Is someone saying, God, I thank you? Oh God, I bless you. Oh God, I give glory unto your name. Is someone giving praises unto the Most High God, the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords? Tell him that, Father, thank you. Thank you for a brand new year. Thank you for the gift of a brand new year. Oh Lord, I bless your name. Jesus, I thank you for the gift of a brand new year. For the gift of a brand new year. For how you made me to see this new year. My family too to see it. My loved ones to see it. No sorrowful news. Everything has been going well. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I bless you. Jesus, I worship you. I want you to praise the name of God for the time we met to pray here in times past. At every first Friday of the month, we always come to pray. I want you to say, Father, I thank you. I bless your name for the answers to our prayers. There have been people that have been blessed. There are people that have been ministered to. There are people that have been one way or the other touched by the most high God. I want you to say, Father, thank you. Lord Jesus, I bless your name. Holy Father, I give glory unto your name. Jesus, I say thank you. Jesus, I worship your name. Jesus, I honor you. Jesus, I bless your name. And I want you now to glorify the name of God, brothers and sisters, because this year, in this our first Friday prayer meeting and vigil, God is going to take us to another level. Actually, he will, a higher level, a greater level. Bless the name of God because you are going to be one of the beneficiaries. Your family will be blessed. Your loved ones will be blessed. Say thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' 
almighty name we are prayed. Now, shall we pray together? Almighty Jesus, we bless your name. We thank you. We praise you. We give glory unto your name for bringing us together again. Father, we have come. We want to pray. I ask and I pray that you will give us the mantle of prayer in the name of Jesus. Give us the mantle of prayer in the name of Jesus. Give us the mantle of prayer in the name of Jesus. Every time we meet this year, every time we meet to pray, I ask Holy Father that our heavens will open and there will be miracles. There will be testimonies. There will be wonders in the lives of everyone in Jesus' name. I set the pace for this year's move of God. Every time we meet together, Father, have your way in Jesus' name. Let your power take control in Jesus' name. Anyone that will participate online, offline. Anyone that will participate immediately or join later or watch later. This year, Father, let there be touch, transformation, miracles, testimonies in everyone's life in Jesus' name. Tonight we are here. Father, move in our midst. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You see, the Bible says it is a good thing to give unto the Lord and to sing praises unto the name most high. That's why we have to do that first. We have to worship God and they appreciate him for the gift of another year. You understand? You did not pay for it. I didn't pay for it. God out of mercy just gave us brand new year. And uh, since it's starting new, I want you to know brothers and sisters that something new will happen in your life as well as in my life in Jesus name. See, as we begin the new year, uh, there, are, there are prayers that we should pray, serious prayers. But let me see if I can combine two things together into one. Or else maybe we just do one of them. The, but I know that we're going to pray. And the Lord will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. Let's see the book of Genesis chapter 1. Then after that, we are still going to take another prayer from elsewhere. But let's first see from the book of Genesis chapter 1. If you have your Bible... Uh, you can open. If you don't have, just read along with me. I will, I will read from here. Then you will just uh, follow on as I read from here. So Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says in verse 1, in the beginning, God created heaven, sorry, God created the heaven and the earth. Even if I did not read it, if I tell you that you should quote that passage of the Bible, you are likely to quote it and get it right in the beginning. God created the heaven and the earth. That's, that verse is loaded, mightily loaded with a lot of things. In the very beginning, in the very beginning, what did God do? God created. You understand that? Uh, God did not wait till after the beginning. He did not wait for some months. He did not wait for some weeks. He did not wait for some days. He did not even wait for probably some minutes or hours. In the beginning, immediately it's beginning like this, God created. He sprang into action. In the beginning, he set the tone. In the beginning, he captured everything. That's why it's the beginning of a, year, a new year. You have to capture the year because there are powers. There are personalities whose duty is to catch the year. I jack the year from people's hand. So that they will be in charge of the year, they will be in control of the year. So that the owners of the year will not be in charge, they will not be in control. But I pray for somebody listening and somebody believing. Any power set on assignment to hijack this year from you, to capture the year from you, so that the year will be wasted for you. Let them be arrested for your sake in the name of Jesus. I want somebody to say they will not capture the year in the name of Jesus. Say, say they will not capture the year in the name of Jesus. I capture the year. I take hold of this year and I am in charge. I will be in charge in the name of Jesus. For you, you will be in charge. For your children, you will be in charge. For your husband, for your wife, for your family, you will be in charge. Sickness will not be in charge. You see, evil will not be in charge. Troubles will not be in charge. Why? Because you are, if you want to enjoy that benefit, you have to start from the beginning. Bible says, in the beginning, God created. So it's at the beginning that you are going to take over. Somebody say, I am taking over. Say, say I am taking over. 
My sister, you have to take over from the beginning. My brother, you have to take over from the very beginning. Bible says in the beginning, God created. That means in the beginning, God took charge. That means in the beginning, God took over. That means that in the beginning, God dominated. God took control of everything in the very beginning. Bible says in the beginning, God created in the beginning. So now, uh, let, let me tilt a bit and explain to Paul that, to say that, you see, in the beginning, God created, God did something. In the beginning, God did not fold his hand and say, yes, it's the beginning. Oh, and he, he continues to be in the euphoria of joy, gladness, happiness, that is the beginning. Like people will say it's a new year and they will just be saying it's a new year, it's a new, they will be in the, in the joy of the new year until the new year will be gone. And then before they come to realization that ah, days have gone, weeks have gone, or even months have gone, then they are frustrated and expecting that that year will end and another year will come again. But that's not what we're talking about. The Bible says in the beginning, God created. God sprang into action. Just from the very beginning, he did something. You are going to do something. Now, God did not just only do something. He did something significant. The the Bible says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the, the heaven and the earth that God created in the beginning. They are still what is still existing today. He created something significant. God created something that was a masterpiece. He created something last longer. You see, at the beginning, you have to do something that will last. And uh, that's, thank God, the aspect we are concentrating today uh, is the aspect of prayer. But you know, I've told you that in the beginning, you have to do something. You have to spring, spring, in, spring into action. You have to, you know, maybe in the beginning, you have to plan. In the beginning, you have to start implementing your plans. In the beginning, maybe you have to change job. Maybe in the beginning, you have to plan how to save. Maybe in the beginning, you have to start saving. In the beginning, you have to start maybe, you know, buying and investing into into investment. So, but at the beginning, do something. And what you are going to do, make sure it's something that is worthwhile. Make sure that it's something. That, but like I said, today we are not going into that. We are focusing on prayer. So in the beginning, we want to pray. And the prayer we want to pray must be prayer that will be la la last, that will last long, long lasting prayer. Prayer that will, that will settle the year. Prayer that will settle the year that will cement the year, that will make you to be in charge of the year, that will make you to know that whatsoever come up in the year, any time during the year, you will remember that, no, in the beginning of this year, I have settled it that I am in charge. Now, the Bible, the Bible says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the even when Satan rose up in the person of Lucifer now, I wanted to take over the heaven from God. God did not allow it because God from the beginning was in charge. He created it and he was in control of it. You see, there are many things going on in the world today, but still the world is still under the control of God. Yes, there is the wicked one, the whole light and wickedness, but everything is still subject to the power of God, to the might of the Lord, to the supremacy of the almighty God. So in the beginning, what God did is still in charge. That's the way you want to pray today. You want to pray in a way that you will be settled in your mind, that the, that whatsoever comes up later on in the course of the year, you are sure that I have settled this from the beginning. I am still in charge. And as I look at you there, you are in charge. The anointing to be in charge, the power to be in charge. Receive it upon your life in the name of Jesus. I said, receive it into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be in charge. Somebody say, I am in charge. Say it louder, let the devil hear, I am in charge. Say it like someone that is, that is in charge. Say, I am in charge. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. So you are in charge. And because you are in charge, I want you to know that God Almighty is there for you. So because you are in charge, you are going to enjoy what God has done. You see, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, you see, our prayer focus today, let me just, in the next three, five minutes, let's open our Bible 
to the book of uh, Second Samuel. Second Samuel, chapter eleven. Second Samuel, chapter eleven. See, this is another. This now we are talking of like the beginning of another year. Now something happened. Second Samuel, chapter eleven. I read from verse one, and uh, that's the only verse I'm going to read. I'll just make a few explanations. Then we we'll go into the section of prayer. In the next two three minutes. Our prayers will start. Bible says, and it came to pass after the year was expired. After the year was expired. So if I can say it this way, it came to pass at the after the year finished. When the year finished, after the year ended, and after the year ended, what is next? Another one begins. You understand? So that is it. Now it's like you are saying, and it came to pass after the year ended. And when another year, when that year ends, what happened? Another year begins. So you can say that at the beginning of another year, immediately in the beginning of another year, just if I can put it about this period, about this period of that year, he said it was at the time, it was in those days, it was at the time when kings go forth to battle. You see that? So in the beginning of the year is when kings go forth to battle. In the beginning of the year is the time that you are to battle to gain dominion. It's, now, how, how, how do I know? Look at what follows. The Bible says, the Bible says that to battle, that David sent Joab and his servant with him and all Israel, and they destroyed. Is in the beginning of the year that you take over. It's in the beginning of the year that we take control, that we take charge. He said that they destroyed the children of Ammon and besieged Reba. You see that in the beginning of the year, they went to battle and they went to take control. In the beginning of the year, they went to go and dominate. You see, it's the beginning of another year now. My brother and my sister, you have to get, you have to fight the, dom the battle of dominance the battle of dominion, the battle of supremacy. And by the power in the name of Jesus, everything that we, we pray about, the Lord will answer in Jesus' name. But there is an unfortunate thing that happened in that place, and it's a lesson for us, for you and for me. David sent Joab. He sent his servants. He sent Israel. That's what the Bible says here. He sent all Israel. But it did not go. Because the Bible finished it up in that verse one. It said, but David, that is still at Jerusalem. That verse one, the last end of it. said, it's, David did not go. He sent others to go. Now, what happened? The people that went, they got the victory. Praise the Lord. Because the Bible said that the people that went, they destroyed the children of Ammon. And they besieged what? Reba. But David did not go. Instead of David to go, he stayed at home. The people who went to the battle to fight, they overcame. But David that stayed at home, what happened? That did not fight. David that did not go into warfare. David that did not go into battle, what happened? He was defeated at home. So what are we learning? We're learning that at the beginning of the year, you need to pray so that you will not be defeated. And the Lord will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Now, as I run off, this is a new year. How is your life? You are listening here, and you are, you, 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 you are, you are interested in praying. You are interested in talking to God. You are interested in getting to, how is your life? Are you going to live this year the same way you have been living? Is there a change of life? Are you converted? Are you born again? Have you surrendered your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you given him your heart sincerely? This saying, say, my son, give me your heart. My daughter, give me your heart. All the animosity in your heart, all the unforgiveness in your heart, all the bitterness against your children or your wife or your husband or your neighbors or your, the people, your colleagues in the place of work or your brothers or your sisters or your church members, or maybe someone online or some people online that have done some things against you, written some things against you, said some things against you. Are you free from all those 
bitterness and anger, as well as uh, uh, malice? Is your life clean? Are you not masturbating? Are you not committing fornication? Are you pure? Are you holy? Are you not into pornography? Are you sure that you are not a liar? You are not a cheat. You don't cheat others. You don't steal. Are you sure that you are keeping the word of God? That you are not breaking the law and the commandments of the Lord? If you are, it's a new year. The God that gave you a new year can give you a new life. And as he has given you a new year, you received the new year. He wants to give you a new life. Come and receive the new life. Bow your head in prayer before we go to the sections of prayer and tell God and say, Father, have mercy upon me. Lord Jesus, forgive me, pardon me, and make me your child. Wash all my sins away. Cleanse me from every unrighteousness. Wash me from every unholiness. Cleanse me from every defilement. I know you know what you are doing, that the Lord is not happy with that. Your conscience always condemns you about. I want you to pray and say, Father, forgive me. I want you to say, Father, have mercy on me. I want you to say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry. I want you to say, Lord Jesus, wash away my sins. Lord Jesus, give me a new life. You have given me a new year. Give me a new life. Give me a new life. A sinless life. A righteous life. A holy life. You see, righteousness, conversion, give you, gives you, gives power to your prayer. So I want you to pray and say, Father, forgive me. And you are not praying for forgiveness because you want to pray so that your prayers can be answered. But you are praying because you want your life to change. Pray and say, Jesus, make me your child. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now, I want to pray with you. Father, I thank you because of your word. I worship your name. I bless your name. Because of as many brothers and sisters whose hearts you are touched. And you are telling them to give their lives to you. Father, as they are repenting, forgive them their sins in Jesus' name. Wash their sins away. Give them a new life. And let them become genuine children of God. Father, let this year be new. Let this year not be like other years that they are inconsistent, rising and falling and confessing and, and, and asking for mercy of sins when they go back to those sins. But let this be a new year of a new life. Work it out in them and give them grace to serve you. I thank you, Lord, because you have done it for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Yes, it is time for our prayers. I want you now to begin to tell the Lord and say, Jesus, you will answer my prayer today in the name of Jesus. My prayers will be answered by the power in the name of Jesus. My prayer will be answered in the name of Jesus. And your prayer will be answered. I want you to charge your life with the fire of God. Say, Lord, I release the fire of God upon my life in the name of Jesus. Release the fire of God upon your life. Say, I release the fire of God upon my life. I receive the I release the fire of God upon my spirit. I release the fire of God upon my soul. I release the fire of God upon my body. I release the fire of God upon me. My life receives the fire of God. My life receives the fire of God. My life receives the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Every weakness, every unseriousness. I command you now to be consumed by the fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want you to pray this year for inspiration. That's the first prayer we are going to pray. You see, inspiration can bring about liberation. If, you, if God gives you inspiration, it can liberate you from so many things. That is why the Bible says there's a spirit in man, but the inspiration of the Almighty gives them understanding. I want you to pray and say, oh God, the inspiration that I, that we take, that I need for a successful year, Father, release upon my life in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, release upon me the inspiration for 2023. I don't want to live this year like other years. Yes, I thank you for past years for what you have done, but I need the inspiration for a new year. 
I need the inspiration for a better year. I need the inspiration for a glorious year. Father, give me inspiration for 2023 in the name of Jesus. Give me inspiration for 2023 in the name of Jesus. Pray against inspiration killers. I pray against inspiration killers. You will not kill the inspiration of God upon my life in the name of Jesus. You will not kill the inspiration of God upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will be blessed with the inspiration of God by the power in the name of Jesus. I will be blessed with the inspiration of God by the mighty power of God in the name of Jesus. I will be blessed with the inspiration of God by the mighty power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want you to pray and tell God. Because we said in the beginning, God created. I want you to pray to God and say, Father, in the beginning, Lord, let the power to take over come upon my life this year in the name of Jesus. The power to take over. Let this come upon my life in the name of Jesus. I don't want to be a loser in this year. The power to take over. I receive you in the name of Jesus. The power to be in charge of this year. The power to be in charge of 2023. I receive you now. 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 By the power of God. I receive that power to be in charge of 2023. By the power in the name of Jesus. I receive the power to be in charge of 2023. By the power in the name of Jesus. I receive that power. 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 And the Lord will give you. I receive the power to be in charge. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created. I want you to pray and say, Father, the power of God to be the be, to be to be in dominion and supremacy over this year. I receive it now in the name of Jesus. I receive that power in the name of Jesus. I will be in charge of 2023. No power will I jack 2023 in my hand. No power will I jack 2023 from my family. No power will I jack 2023 from any member of my family in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to prophesy into 2023. I prophesy into the year 2023 by the power in the name of Jesus. You will, you will be my year of dominion. I dominate over you. I have supremacy over you. I am in charge of you. I am in control of you. You will not control me. You will not control my family. What I decide, that is what will happen in you. What I pray about, that is what will happen in you. If the sickness comes and I don't want sickness, actually I don't want it, it will not happen. Nothing of Satan will be in this 2023 for me in Jesus. I want you to pray and take over this year. Say, I take over 2023 for my advantage. I take over 2023 for the advantage of my family in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now, we are getting to the soul of the prayers very well now. I want you to pray and tell God that every celebration of the weekend over my life, by the power in the name of you see, there, there, there is a way the wicked want to rejoice over you this year, but they will never rejoice over you in the name of Jesus. I said the wicked will never rejoice over you in the mighty name of Jesus. The wicked will not celebrate over you. They will not celebrate over your family. Maybe there is someone in the family and then they want to kill or they want to stop or they want to destroy. They will never celebrate over your family in the name of Jesus. I want you to shout celebration of the wicked over my family. I cancel you in the name of Jesus. Celebration of the wicked over my family in 2023. I cancel you by the power in the name of Jesus. I cancel you by the power in the name of Jesus. Cancel every form of celebration of the wicked. What will happen that will make the wicked to celebrate, that will make the wicked 
to jubilate over me, over my family. I cancel that thing. I cancel that thing. I cancel that thing. I cancel it by the power in the blood of Jesus. I cancel it by the power in the blood of Jesus. I cancel it by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. We are still praying against the celebration of the weekend. And I want you to pray very well because I pray for you. No darkness will celebrate over you when you are crying, when you are weeping in Jesus' name. Because until you are weeping, until you are crying, they can't celebrate. That is why they will never celebrate. Because there is no time for you to weep this year. There is no time for you to cry this year. Any reason for crying, any reason for praying, for, for weeping, for mourning, for lamenting, they are canceled by the power in Jesus' name. That's why I want you to pray. Jubilation of wicked elders over my life, over my family. I turn you to crying for them in Jesus' name. I will not cry for them. My family will not cry for the wicked, for the wicked elders. They are the ones that will cry. They are celebration. They are jubilation over my life, over my family. I command it to turn to mourn. I command it to turn to crying by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want you to pray that this year, any power that is assigned to make me waste my money in battles, on battles. You see, maybe somebody falls sick and this, uh, the sickness becomes so strong, they start saying, or somebody have maybe an accident, or somebody have uh, maybe uh, a, a court issue, or someone has maybe a, a case with another person, and then you are, well, that thing now becomes a battle. You are now spending money. They are calling for money. Everybody pay money, everybody suffer. And you cannot just overlook it because you are involved. That is what I'm talking about. This year, such evil arraignment, they will not walk in Jesus' name. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. Brother, say in the name of Jesus. Ah, my sister, say in the name of Jesus. Say it very well. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I want you to say that powers are signed to make me waste my money on battles. Powers are signed to make me waste my money on battles. I command you to perish in the name of Jesus. In this year, 2023, any power that has been assigned to make me waste my money on the battles, either on battles of a relative or battle of our family or on battles of my own self, I command you to perish by the power in the name of Jesus. I will not waste my money on battles in the name of Jesus. Pray also powers assigned to make me waste my time on battles by the power in the name of Jesus. I command you to perish. I command you to perish. I am not ready. I am not ready to waste my money on battles. I am not ready. I am not ready to waste my time on battles in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You see Amen. that. There are some people that something will just happen. And then when that thing happens, the money that they have gathered for something else, maybe the money they have saved, the savings that they have said, I don't want to touch this. I don't want to touch it. It is for this purpose. It is for that purpose. That thing will happen and it will eat into that money. They have no choice than to take out of it or to spend everything. And when they finish spending everything, then maybe the battle will subside or they can even go back prompt and begin to borrow and begin to take loans just because they want to solve that thing. This year, I pray for you as you are in part of this program, the almighty God forbid it to happen in your life in Jesus' name. That's why I want you to pray again that every power assigned to make me waste my money on battles, Assigned to make me waste my money on battles, I command you to perish in the name of Jesus. In 2023, I am not ready to waste my money on any battle. I am not ready to waste my money on any battle. Battle of sickness, 
battle of accident, battle of court case, battle of trouble, battle of uh, police issues. I reject you by the power in the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to make my family members waste their money in battles, I reject them by the power in the name of Jesus. Pray too that you will not waste your time on battles. By the time somebody is on hospital bed, maybe it's you, God forbid, or maybe a family member, God forbid, and they have to stay with that person and look at that and be calling that person, calling, calling, calling. Ah, pray, I reject it. I reject it. Any bad power assigned to make us waste our time on battles. By the power in the name of Jesus, I reject you. I command you to perish in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want you to quickly pray this prayer. Powers fighting me when I pray. Praise, say it, let me hear you. Powers fighting me whenever, I'm, whenever I pray. I command you to be wasted away in the name of Jesus. Maybe when you pray seriously, some things normally happen. Any power fighting me when I am praying. Any power that fight me when I pray. Maybe do video, personal video, or corporate video, or do fasting and prayer. Powers fighting me when I pray. I command you to perish in the name of Jesus. As you are praying now, any power that always gang up to fight back, I command you to destroy, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by the power in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want you now to pray one prayer for your family. I want you to pray every arrow of battle in my family. I command you to come out in Jesus' name. Arrow of battles in my family. Come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Arrow of battle in my, in my own family, my nuclear family, my extended family. I command arrow of battle. Come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Come out by the power in the name of Jesus. Command the arrow of battle to come out. Every power firing the arrow of battle to my family. I command you power. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Be wasted by the power in the name of Jesus. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. No arrow of battle will remain in my family in the name of Jesus. Pray in this 2023. Arrow of battle, you shall not enter into my family. You shall not enter into my family in the name of Jesus. Pray, arrow of battle, fire into my family. Bounce back in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrow of battle. Fired into my family. Bounce back in the name of Jesus. Arrow of battle fired into my family in 2023. Backfire, backfire, backfire by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Remember what we said earlier? At the beginning of the year, the kings went, the kings normally go into battle, but David did not go into battle. What happened? He was defeated. The people he sent to battle, those people conquered. As you are now engaging in battle, you are setting the tone for victory. And you are going to have mighty victory in the name of Jesus. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. My brother, my sister, say in the name of Jesus, every door that will lead to the fulfillment of my destiny this year, open wide in the name of Jesus. Every door that will lead to the fulfillment of my destiny in 2023, I speak to you today, open wide in the name of Jesus. Open wide in the name of Jesus. Open wide in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Every door that will lead to the fulfillment of my destiny this year, 2023, open wide in the name of Jesus. Every door that will lead to the fulfillment of the destiny of my wife. Every door that will lead to the fulfillment of the destiny of my children. Every door that will lead to the fulfillment of the destiny of my siblings. Open wide, open wide in the name of Jesus. Command the doors to open wide. The doors have ears to hear. Let them hear. Let them hear. Command them to open wide. Command them to open wide. By the power in the name of Jesus, every door that will lead to the fulfillment of my destiny this year, 2023, I speak to you in the name of Jesus. Open wide now. Open wide now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' 
mighty name we are prayed. Mm -hmm. There's somebody here, I pray for you. Your life will not become a reproach in 2023 in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. That's why I want you to pray and say now, powers, battles, and powers. I cannot hear you say battles and powers assigned to make me a reproach in 2023. I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Battles and powers assigned to make me a reproach in this year, 2023. I destroy you. I destroy you. Battles and powers assigned to make my family a reproach in this year, 2023. I destroy you. I destroy you by the mighty power of God in the name of Jesus. I destroy you by the mighty power of God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You see, I want you to pray particular prayer because there are powers that normally kill good things in the life of people. There are powers that normally kill good things in the life of people. I, I, I think it should be, it should be maybe on Monday or Sunday or which day. I've forgotten the day. It should be Monday, if I should be right. I remember a sister that, that was talking to me. They, 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 she, 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 not too long ago, I don't, uh, uh, some months ago, or so, or thereabout, she joined the church where, by the grace of God, I'm the pastor. And then she was, she was telling me, because now she has a baby, even the baby, before she could give birth to that baby, in fact, there are lots of battles. I mean, serious, serious battles. For example, before, before she came to the place where, where, where she, 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 after marriage, she got pregnant. And when she got pregnant, the, the, the time of delivery, the time of delivery, the baby died in a womb or something like that. And then it was a sorrowful time. I pray for you that every power wait, waiting for the time you are to have joy to cause you sorrow, let them perish in the name of Jesus. I said every power waiting for the time you are to have joy, to turn your joy to sorrow, let them perish in the name of Jesus. So that won't happen. And then after some time again, she took in. It was a short time, but they overcame. She took in again. After she took in, something else happened. That, that pregnancy, after some months, she miscarried. Ah! It was a sorrowful time again. But it was, it was after that time that they came to uh, uh, the, the, our own area. And then I knew about the case. I told her, I said, this one that you are going to have, to the glory of God, you will not lose it. So many things happen. But what I noticed, and that's what I want you to pray about, there are powers that are always killing good things in the life of people. I pray, as we pray this next prayer, any power, personality or power that have been assigned to always kill good things in your life or in the life of anyone that, that, that situ their situation and circumstances always bother your life. I pray that those powers, as we pray today, they will relocate into destruction in Jesus' name. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my brother say, in the name of Jesus. Powers for you killing good things in my life. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. In this year, 2023, good things will not die in my life. Any power killing good things in my life, any power killing good things in the life of good people, in life of the people around me, in the lives of my family members, I command you to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I destroy you. Good things will not die in my life. Good things will not die in my family by the power in the name of Jesus. Pray and say, you, you year 2023, Either you like it or not, no good thing will die in my life. No good thing will die in my life in the name of Jesus. Powers killing good things in my life. I command you to perish today. I command you to perish today in Jesus' name we are prayed. You see, by the grace of God, the Lord Almighty will not allow any good thing to die in your life anymore in Jesus' name. That's why I want us to Pray this next prayer. I want you to pray, wicked elders, on mission to enslave my life. Let me hear you say that, wicked elders, on the mission to enslave my life. I am not a slave. Release me in the name of Jesus. Wicked elders, 
on mission to enslave my life. I am not a slave. I am not a slave. Whosoever they have, physical wicked elders, spiritual wicked elders, on assignment to, um, to enslave my life, I am not a slave. Release me in the name of Jesus. Leave my life alone in the name of Jesus. Leave my life alone in the name of Jesus. Wicked elders on assignment to enslave my family. My family is not your own. Therefore, release my family in the name of Jesus. Wicked elders on assignment to enslave my children, enslave my career, enslave my, my movement forward. I destroy you by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Ah, this one is very important. I want you to say evil assembly. Say class, say evil assembly, evil meeting, evil conference against my life. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Evil assembly, evil meeting, evil conference against my life. Scatter, scatter, scatter by the power in the name of Jesus. No matter where they are, by the power in the name of Jesus, scatter in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You see, there are times that there are evil meetings. Maybe some you are, you are progressing and they can know it. They can notice it online that that sister or that brother is doing fine. They can notice it even with their own monitoring gadget that you are doing fine. And they want to do evil to make you sorrowful, to make you go into a pain that will make you to, 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 to be in a kind of confusion. Then they will summon a meeting. They will summon a gathering. They will summon an assembly or a conference to ensure that they... they, 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 they they pull resources and powers together to attack. But this year, any power that hold any meeting to attack you, they will scatter in the name of Jesus. That's why I want you to pray again. Say evil assembly, evil meeting, evil conference. Someone against my life. Scatter in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. I want you to say, powers closing the doors that I am opening. I don't know the door that you are opening. Any power that is closing the door that you are opening, that are spoiling the things that you are doing, that are pulling down the things you are building, that are again the things you are, you are trying to do. Today, as we pray, God Almighty, them, God Almighty, we shoot them his arrow of destruction in Jesus' name. Say, so powers closing the doors that I am opening. I suffocate you in the name of Jesus. Powers closing the doors that I am opening. I suffocate you. The door I'm opening by prayer, the door I'm opening by labor, the door I'm opening by, 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 by work, the door I'm opening by stress, the door I'm opening by, 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 by any means, any power closing the doors that I'm opening, I suffocate you by the power in the name of Jesus. I suffocate you by the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want you to pray like four or five prayers again before we round off today. And this year will be, you see, the prayer that we are praying, I told you they are prayer to set, to, to take over the year, to set the tone for the year, to arrange the year for your benefits. That's the kind of prayer we are praying. And I want you to be very serious with those prayers. That's why I want you to pray. Powers of darkness connected to my issues. I command you catch fire in the name of Jesus. Powers of darkness connected to my issues. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Powers of darkness connected to my issues. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you are, uh, in, in, in the land, on the sea, in the water, anywhere you are in the air. Powers of darkness connected to any issue of my life. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want you to pray, principality standing on my way to glory in 2023. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Principalities standing on my way to glory in 2023. 
I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of, cast down every princess of the sea, every queen of the coast that is standing on your way to glory. Cast down every giant, cast down every Goliath that is standing on your way to glory. In 2023, I pull you down, I push you down, I throw you down in the name of Jesus. Throw down the giant, throw down the princess of the sea. Throw down the queen of the coast. Throw down the powers in the forest. Any power that is standing on my way to glory in 2023, I throw you down. I pull you down. I push you down in the name of Jesus. I am going to glory in 2023. I am going to glory in 2023. Everything about my life in 2023, I will go into glory in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want you to pray against any combined force or individual force that is fighting against answers to your prayer. Because you are going to be praying in 2023, you know. You are going to pray a lot of prayers. You are going to intercede. You are going to supplicate. You are going to fight warfare. You are going to do deliverance. You are going to go into prayers of of, 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 of uh, uh, personal prayers. And you are going to engage in corporate prayer. You are going to pray a lot of prayer. You are going to fast. You are going to pray in the night or vigil, either in, as a person or with other people. You are going to pray in the daytime. You are going to do a lot of prayer, but there are powers that are standing by that your prayers will not be answered. Either they like it or not, your prayer will be answered in Jesus' name. So I want you to pray today that any combined power or solid power, individual power or corporate power fighting against my prayer in 2023, I paralyze you in the name of Jesus. I paralyze you in the name of Jesus. Any power that want to stand against my prayer, any power that want to move against my prayer, I paralyze you. I paralyze you. I paralyze you. I paralyze you by the power in the name of Jesus. I paralyze you in the name of Jesus. Any prayer I pray in 2023, my prayer will be full of fire. No power will be able to stand before my prayer. My prayer will be full of fire. My prayer will be full of power. My prayer will be loaded with anointing. No power will be able to stand before my prayer in the name of Jesus. Pray that your power will be mighty. My prayer will be mighty that no enemy will come near the place I am praying. No evil force will be able to near the content of my prayer in the name of Jesus. No personality or power of Satan, no dark power will be able to come close, close to anywhere I am praying in the name of Jesus. My prayer will be mighty. Pray that anytime I am praying, the fire of God will envelop me. The fire of God will envelop my prayer. The fire of God will envelop my area in the name of Jesus. Any meeting of Satan, any meeting of Satan, satanic gathering that is nearby or far away to the area that I'm praying. Holy Ghost fire, as I am praying, will locate them and scatter them. My prayer will cut damage in the kingdom of darkness. I will not pray ordinary prayer this year. I will not pray prayer that the Lord will make me a prayer warrior, a prayer champion this year in the name of Jesus. No power will be able to stand against my prayer. No power will be able to stand against my prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Two more prayers before we run off this day. We are setting the tone for how you want the year to be. And there's somebody here, you know I've said it, that God will take you to your ministry. You will not move in the environment of the ministry and in the border of the ministry this year. He will take you to your ministry. That voice of your destiny that is crying, God Almighty will hear it and locate you where you should be. Put you at the round peg in the round hole in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray two more prayer. Number one, I want you to pray that year 2023, you will favor me in the name of Jesus. Year 2023, you will favor me in the name of Jesus. You will not favor the enemy against me. You will not favor darkness against me. You will favor me by the power in the name of Jesus. Yeah, 2023, you will favor me. In Jesus' mighty name, 
we are praying. Finally, I want you to pray. Okay, before we pray the final prayer, I don't know whatsoever request you have as an individual. I will not have touched everything, uh, but I know that you have a desire. Maybe you want a job, maybe you want to marry, maybe you want to have an accommodation, maybe you want God to, to, to help you to relocate to somewhere else, Maybe you want the Lord to lift up your head. Whatsoever is your request. I want you to take a time out now to say, God, in this vigil, I am presenting this request to you. Lord, answer me. And I want to tell you, you shall have testimony concerning this prayer. Before the next prayer day, which is February, God will give you your own testimony concerning this request in the name of Jesus. Is there somebody that you want the Lord to do something for, and then you are committing that person? Pray about whatsoever your request is. It might be one, it might be hundred, whatsoever it is, pray about them and say, Father, these are my requests. I want you to do something about the Lord is listening to you. Because he is the God that says, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Yes, he can do it. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. So the final prayer. I want to pray this year, 2023, and say here, 2023, I take over in Jesus' name. I take over in the name of Jesus. I take over. 2023, I take over. 2023, I take over. 2023, I take control of you. 2023, I am in charge of you in the name of Jesus. Just speak it like that. Speak it. And when anything happens in the course of the year, you will remind that thing that in the beginning, I have taken over. In the th beginning, I have taken control. In the beginning, I have taken charge. 2023, I take over. 2023, I take charge. 2023, I take control. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lastly, let's thank God because God has answered our prayers. I want us to worship the name of God. I want us to praise the name of our King. I want us to praise the name of our Father. Tell him that, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I worship you. Lord Jesus, I bless your name. Lord Jesus, I give glory unto your name. Lord Jesus, I give praises unto your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now, I have the anointing to pray for people that are looking for special things. And I'm going to pray for you. You are looking for job. And you are under the voice of this ministration as under the voice of this ministration. I pray for you that the Lord will open the way of that job for you in Jesus name. Everything that has closed the door, I speak against them. Jesus spoke to the sea to come down and the sea calmed down, even though it was very ferocious. I speak to the door of job that is closed upon you. Open now in the name of Jesus. I command the doors to open by the power in the name of Jesus. You are there. You are looking for healing in your body. Yes, I speak against that disease in your intestine. I see. It. I speak against that disease in your intestine by the power of God. Vanish in Jesus' name. Every worm die in the name of Jesus. Die and disappear in the name of Jesus. Let the worm die and disappear. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus. You have a broken part of your body and that place is paining you and then you are, you are tired of the pain. There is a balm of healing of the blood that is flowing now. Yes, I pray now and as you sleep, the Lord will heal you. Therefore, I pray now, let the blood flow into you and command healing into that part of your body that is paining you excruciatingly. Let the pain disappear in the name of Jesus. I pray for those who are having battles in their dream. I decree that the powers that have been assigned to terrorize and terrify you, terrorists in your dream, I bind them. In the name of Jesus, I cast them away by the power in the name of Jesus. I have a word of prophecy for somebody here under the voice of this ministration. You are confused in the area of your marriage because there are two people in particular. You, you don't know who to choose among them. I don't want to go into details, but summarily is that you don't know one to choose because there's one that is rich, but you are free. There's the other one that, and it may not be maybe because it's rich or not, but God has the best for you and you are confused. I pray, let the confusion disappear naturally and God 
lay hold in your spirit man and connect your spirit man to the one that is for you in Jesus' name. Let the confusion go. And you will never regret taking that, that decision by the power in Jesus' name. I pray for as many that are under the oppression of the devil. I loose you this day from the chain of oppression in your hand, in your legs, in Jesus' name. I pray for everyone that is praying for a miracle. Let your miracle happen in Jesus' name. I declare for everyone under the ministration of this word, 2023, take over. I said, take over. I said, take over. Take control. Take charge of 2023 in Jesus' name. No sorrow, no evil by the power in the name of Jesus. I soak everyone in the blood of Jesus. Every, every arraignment of death, I cancel. Every evil arrow that is targeting you or family in 2023, I command them to backfire and bounce back to where they are coming from in Jesus' name. Let the Lord Almighty visit you. Let the Lord God Almighty deliver you. Let the Lord God Almighty do your wonders that your spirit man has been expecting in Jesus' name. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. I soak everyone in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, I thank the Lord for those of us that have been able to participate and join. I want to tell you that God has more for us this year. But what we have just done today is to set the tone for the year and then shaping the year, uh, 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 wipe the line into align the year into line of alignment for our favor. And I believe that this year we are going to enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, God bless. Over to you, Sister Princess. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone for joining this prayer session. As we have started with the Lord this year on the group, on the page, everywhere, wherever you are joining this prayer from, all those who have had their problems mentioned, the Lord is going to meet you at the point of your need and you will smile. Please do well to share your testimonies. If God is doing something for you, share your testimonies with your friends. Share this prayer time with your friends, your family members, someone who might need this prayer time. Uh, it happens every first Friday of every month. We've been doing this since last year and so many people have had answer to their prayers. So many people have contacted me and shared some testimonies with me. Please don't miss these prayers. Try your best not to miss these prayers because it's in your best interest to be here. You cannot win so much battles if you don't know where it's coming from. But if you have the Lord of hosts, the one that fights for his children, that knows everything that you don't know about, even when you are sleeping in the night, that knows the faces of those who are your foes or your friends, you know that you are, you are a winner. You are a winner when you are one with God is majority. I pray that the Lord will give you the grace to join and remind you to join in Jesus' name. God bless you. We're not going to keep you long. God bless you for joining. Go and enjoy your blessing today. Thank you very much, Pastor Brian, me, Pastor Yemi. Thank you for, for leading us in this prayer. The Lord will reveal everything that has gone out of you in Jesus' name. And the Lord will also meet you at the point of any of your needs, anything it is that you're asking God for, even what you're not asking God for, and God knows about it, God will supply and surprise you as you're watering others. The Lord will water you much more. The Lord will build houses for you. The Lord will build your life and your families in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, brethren. God bless you. See you next month the first friday of the month again and on that note we're going to say bye <laughs>